the animal doesn't know what you are thinking. Also, you cannot control your animal to so say like, yeah, attack this person or something. It won't do that. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not the system. It's just so that you know what your ma animal is thinking about you. The animal has a microchip implanted somewhere that um, communicates with the agent. Now, the agent is a software that acts kind of as a middleman between the simple thoughts of the animal and the complex thoughts of the human and does the translation work between them. The first section we're going to be talking about is home or pet animals and we want to know what their needs are, if they need to go to the bathroom, whether they're hungry, if they're in pain, so we can help them and also know their emotions. As far as wildlife goes with the animals, that would mean that if the animals are now in the savannah, um, in the savannah or an open space where they're not um, kept in cages. So two of our most main and valid points would be their stress levels. So their emotions, what they're feeling, if they're feeling aggressive, if a lion is maybe ready to attack. Because there are many animals going extinct, and this function will maybe help us save some animals from hunters. So we can basically just track them down and save them. So if you let your cows out to graze, and you want to know where they are, instead of using those bells, you can instead use our product. So these emotions are monitored, how the animal reacts to these. If it needs some psychological treatment, I don't know how you would do that to an animal, but you know, it's 2035. <laughs> okay, so our scenario is going to be that in 2035, more than 50% of the entire population is going to have at least one artificially controlled device inserted into their bodies. We, the, we, the intelligent society, so the humans, should go first. We don't even know anymore because of the chips and the several things inserted in our devices, uh, in our bodies, whether we're even human and whether we can still make our own opinions. So we stand for humans and we stand that our opinions should be heard. And our company is called Travis Tech with, um, and our product is called Iris. Uh, Iris is an AI hologram which is a, uh, has, has an avatar system and is a great interface. And the teacher is the hologram, the avatar is made so that it can be the perfect teacher for every student. We want the avatar to be a little bit unrealistic so that the kids don't get uh, too much in touch with the avatar and they realize that the avatar is not an actual thing, thing but it's a part of it. Wow, what you have done in such a short time now in the workshop. Yeah. But through all so many topics and think, thought about all those things, that's amazing. I think that is really, really great. Thank you to all the students who contributed, who helped us to get a new idea about the future of the internet. So this is just the start. I mean, you are the next generation. I think.